Yo, what is up family? It's your boy Kid one here bringing you a tutorial from Apex Legends. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through a quick rundown on my settings and what I use that helps me in Apex Legends. So we're going to go through the controller setup first. Straight off the bat, button layout, okay, customized. Hit that up. So we're going to go L1 for my aim down sight, R1 for my shoot, and crouch. It's going to be toggle and it's going to be on my R3 as well, so on my analog stick. So when you use your R3, obviously you can look around and you can crouch at the same time. Definitely a big bonus if you're going into 1v1s, 1v3s, all that kind of stuff. Normally everyone has it on default. Uh, you can also use button puncher, but then you'll have to switch your L2 and your R2s. But I go with custom. Okay. What else have we got? We got our controller settings as well. So my crouch button, toggle aim button obviously you want to put it on hold don't put it on toggle because you have to keep tapping like your l1 for your adjustments in your sights uh, tap to use and reload gotta have it on square anything quick you always want to do that so for looting as well that's going to be my square button sensitivity we're going to have it on very high very high so five five you can go like it's up to you man you can have it at eight sensitivity if you want the only thing I reason, or the only reason why I put it on five is just, just for aim, purely just for aim. The lower it is, the more accurate your shot's gonna be. If you're a beast, then you're gonna go for eight, and you hit your shots where, by all means, hit it up. Uh, nothing else changes for your advanced looks. All of that stays the same. Gameplay, everything is pretty much a default setting through here. So yeah, just have a look, have a read through it. Okay, and I will put up the controller at the end of this video just so that you guys can get a better view of it before I pulled it down uh, field of view I have it on max 110 uh, setting this above 70 may impact performance because of visual issues <sighs> it's up to you on what you want to do I just don't like having everything really close to the HUD um, I like being able to see a field of view a bit more but it's up to you man brightness I have it on max I can't see so I use brightness max it audio is all the same there's nothing that really changes in there unless you want to check on the voice chat with uh, voice to chat text. But yes, hopefully this helps you out. Hopefully you get more doves out of it. If not, let me know in the comments um, what kind of settings you guys use. I know that people play Claw as well. And remember, this setup is just purely for a basic PS4 controller. Okay, no scuff, no fanciness like that. Um, if we get a scuff, then we'll do a tutorial on scuff as well. Okay, so yeah. Happy gaming, it's your boy Kid1. Yo, we out. Peace.